friends and welcome back to coffee with my sunshine and if you're new here i would love for you to subscribe and join my youtube family today i'm going to be showing you some really cute easy front porch outdoor um they're joy boxes but they're like topiaries if i'm saying that right <laughs> so if you'd like to see that then please keep watching so originally i was going to go to home depot and get these pieces and you can get them cut there as well or I think you can find these pieces, like, um, I think you can find wood pieces in different sizes at, like, uh, Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I'll try and link them in the description box. Um, but you could go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they can make some cuts for you. Um, but my husband and I decided to use the scrap wood that we already have in the garage just to <laughs> get it out of the way. Um, so I will put the sizes that we cut these um, in the description box as well. So my husband did all the cutting and made a huge mess. <laughs> um, and then I am going to paint and prime the boards because they are, um, some of them are really like porous and not very good, um, types of wood, especially to be outside. So I just gave them two coats of this white um, primer and paint combined. As you can tell, I, I have like three different kinds of wood there. Like one is from like cabinets, one I think is like a particle board. Um, yeah, but we are just using up scraps that we had. And then we're just taking some wood glue and gluing the boxes together. And as you can see here, the lid or the top of all these boxes is a little bit bigger than the sides just, you know, because they have to all line up evenly. And then along with the wood glue, that would hold it just fine, but we're using nails as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the shaky camera. <laughs> And we had a heck of a time with some of these boards because they're super thin. So to get the nail to go in them <laughs> was really hard. We were splitting wood, and but I, I saved you from seeing all that. <laughs> so if you can, get the thicker pieces of wood. But I just, I wanted to do that this year. Usually I do my own... Um, like tree topiary things in our planters on the front porch. Um, I have a video on that on how to make those out of um, tomato cages and garland. So I will link that above if you're interested. Um, but I wanted a, something a little bit different this year. I got some super cute pillows and stuff to go outdoors. I'll show you that. I'm going to be putting like a porch decorate with me video on my other channel, Life, Love and Endless Laundry. I will link that channel as well. That's where I'm going to be doing all my Christmas decorating, inside and outside. So after those were all together, we gave them a coat of the white primer paint, or two coats of them. And I don't know if I just showed it to you, but... um. These boxes don't have a bottom. That way, when I'm storing them, when it's not Christmas time, they can just sit inside each other and it takes up less space. So my husband and I just did a couple quick coats on these because they will be out in the rain and snow, so we didn't want them to get ruined. And then my husband cut out the word joy for me and he's putting them on the boxes. You could use stencils. I know Hobby Lobby and Michaels has them. Um, you could use like the um, snowflake that you can get at Joanne, or not Joanne, um, Dollar Tree. There's so many ways you can do it. You could freehand the, the letters on here. But he just put the vinyl down with some transfer tape and then pulled it up. And this one is going to be opposite of the other letters. So that's why he's taping off the box so that it doesn't get coated in the red paint. I just wanted the snowflake to be red. 
and I will put the color of red that I used um, up in the corner. So then he did the same thing with the other letters except opposite of the snowflake. So these boxes will be red and the letters will be white. And this was such a windy day. It was not working with us at all with the spray paint. So it took a couple coats more than we thought just because the paint wasn't landing on the boxes. <laughs> So this is the fun part. I always love revealing the letters or taking the tape off. It's just it's super fun. <laughs> and I was really excited how they turned out. It's better than I thought they would be. And there's some spots where the um, paint and primer had lifted, but th that was on those um, particle board type pieces. It just wasn't holding the paint like I thought it would, but that's okay. I wanted them to be a little bit rustic. And here they are. I think it's so cute. I'm going to do another set for the other side of the door. I'm doing two and putting them in our planter. And then I added a little bit of greenery. I actually used um, actual pieces from a bush that we had, but you could use fake garland. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my other channel and subscribe and join my YouTube family over there because that's where I do all my home stuff like decorating, shopping, cleaning, all that kind of thing. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.